Hi there and welcome to this introduction video of creating 3D environments in Blender 2.81. My name is Rob Teitel and I'm your teacher that will help you in this course. So in this video I will tell you everything about what you're going to learn in this course. So I will tell you about the dashboard where we can ask you questions and where we can help you if you are stuck with something about motivation and inspiration, very important in this craft um, because you need to start somewhere when building a scene. And I um, will tell you something about the old masters, things like this painting and why I love it and uh, why you can learn so much about it. So when we cover chapter one, we go to chapter two and that is getting in touch with Blender 2.81. So we uh, install it from the website, we download it and we install it and we open it and then we're going to find our way. So what is Blender? Why do we use some buttons? Um, it's very easy going, um, so don't expect something very complicated, but I want to uh, help you to get used to it. Also to my workflows, because some people have really their own workflow and when, we, when you're going to follow this course, um, I will show you things how I do it. So it can be sometimes a little bit uh, complicated, but that's why you can uh, watch these chapters, chapter two, to get used to it. All right, so uh, in the end of chapter two, we're going to create a small die scene. So we add some colors on these models and then we make a render in the EV render engine. EV is a new render engine, so I want to highlight it and show you what, it, uh, what you can do with it. So when we complete a chapter two, we jump to number three, and that will be a more advanced chapter because we're going to focus on materials. Uh, we start from scratch, we go to the node editor and starting to mix textures, making these more advanced, working with roughness, with normal maps, and in the end you have uh, an advanced material. Um, that we will use on our first model, a rune, because this uh, course is about from rune to castle. But we start with building the rune and uh, we apply the material on it. And then we're finished. When we finish with the chapter 3, we jump to number 4. And chapter 4 is the chapter where we're going to create our first environmental scene. So we start from scratch and we're build, building this whole environmental scene, importing the rune model. And we're going to model grass, uh, we're adding water, uh, playing with the lights and with atmosphere. So we're adding some mist in the scene and then we make the render. So chapter four is an env environmental scene. So when we complete this, we jump to number five and we make a more advanced environmental scene. We focus on a farmhouse, so we model this from scratch and we make a door and windows, a roofing, adding a lot of, a lot of details. And then we importing this in a new scene and starting building it from the ground up. So importing grass and trees. So we're going to make trees in this chapter. Uh, we will do that without using any external add-on, just using the sapling tool, and that's a plugin uh, that comes with Blender. And in the end, we make a beautiful scene render. Um, and then chapter four is, uh, chapter uh, five is finished. And when we complete the chapter five, we jump to number six, and that will be uh, quite different than the previous one, because we focus on creating nature assets. So creating plants, ivy, a new tree, and we importing these in the collection. Uh, the collection is new in Blender 2.181. Um, but then we can uh, copy assets from this file to other ones. So we also importing the assets we created in chapter three and four and five. And then we have a library file, and that's very useful when you start working with new scenes. So when we completed chapter six, we jump to number seven and create the master scene, the castle. So we copy the nature assets from chapter six and then we start with a new scene template using a sort of a blueprint from the thing what we want to create, make a scene block out. So we make a very low poly castle. Then we start building it actually. So making the towers, the main structure and importing this in the main file and then uh, importing the trees. And in the end, you have this beautiful castle scene. So 
a lot of things in this course and uh, but it's definitely worth it because I help you from the beginning to develop yourself to uh, getting uh, to be an environmental designer and it can be a little bit complex sometimes it can be very hard uh, but I'm there to help you because I faced all these challenges before and I know how hard it is so I'm also be able to help you at this point where you get stuck when you think, well, is it all worth it and things like that. Um, it's not just creating a simple object. Creating a full scene is challenging um, and I'm going to help you with it. So if you want to be an environmental designer and you're thinking to join, this is the right moment and I'm happy to teach you. So don't wait any longer and join this course. I hope to see you. Bye bye.